We're here at CTL with Eric Stromquist. He's the vice president, and um, we're here to talk about green computers. One of the priorities of CTL and one of our uh, differentiating features is that we've been designing um, what we call some green features into the PC for some time. But the first and most notable is the power supply. We're using um, a hyper-efficient power supply. And uh, there's a little sticker here called 80 plus, and you can see it also on the front. And this is a trend in computing to use power supplies that operate more efficiently. Um, if you look at the power supply market, most, most man, uh, manufacturers run at 50% efficient or less. So these power supplies, they're a little bit more expensive, but they run at 80 or 80% 80 or higher efficiency. So what you get on that is less power consumed and more efficient power used for the, the computers. The plastics used are designed for end of life uh, processing. The metals, um, the all the components in here, the computer main board and the, the hard drives and the system memory are designed with eco standards in mind with uh, lead free materials. So there is no lead anywhere in this computer. First and foremost, we have the front end recycling where, for example, if they buy this CTL PC and they have a compact, we will take that old compact for free and properly dispose of it. We also do an end of life um, recycling coupon on this PC. So when it's ready to retire and end of life, we will take it back for free. But we try to offer all these extra services to show that we care about the products we make, about what happens to them later in life, and um, just try to be a, a good company and make good products. That's our strategy. Yeah, and that's so. why I'm here. I like what you guys are doing. Yeah. So let's go over and uh, meet with Don and see what okay. uh, Retronix is doing. Great. Let's go. All right. Thank you. So we're here at Retronix with Don Crow, and basically Don's going to walk us through the steps of uh, recycling our e-waste <laughs> and computer waste. Right. So basically what happens is we're sitting in a, in a warehouse, and who brings, the, who brings the waste to you? Materials come from a bunch of different places. Uh, probably about 20% of our materials walk in through basically metro recycling or people trying to do the right thing. The remaining 80% comes through either commercial businesses or governmental agencies that are looking, looking to get this stuff recycled correctly. Typically, they have contacted Metro Recycling. The Metro Recycling refers them to us, and then we process the, the um, material once it gets in. There is a fee for us to take this. Uh, we charge $10 a monitor, and that is basically to get the CRT glass processed correctly. And we charge $0.25 cents a pound for the product that, that comes in. We run it across the scale. We charge $25 for a television and $45 to $55 for a big screen projection, depending on the size. So there is a front end fee to this. Without, without the fees on the front end, we wouldn't be able to afford to do the disassembly and the, and the processing we do to get it right. So that's hence, hence, the, hence the fees. And, it, and I will say that anyone who is not charging you and is just taking it for free, I'm not sure that you can believe they're doing this kind of processing. You need to get a certificate of recycling to make sure your, pro your product is being handled correctly. Without that, it could be just thrown in the landfill without your knowledge. It could go on a boat and go overseas and end up in a valley somewhere. We recycle anything that has a cord on it, except a refrigerator or a freezer. So as, you, as cell phones are breaking, as radios stop working, as stereos fall apart, all of those components have a hazardous material component to them. Don't throw it in your garbage can because it just adds more to the landfill that doesn't need to be there. We can, we can process this and keep it out of, out of the waste stream. It's not, we don't refer to anything as waste here. No. It's all just product that needs to be processed. So yeah. actually take us through the steps of the recycling process. Okay, most of the material comes in palletized, uh, you know, 25 to 30 pa uh, monitors on a pallet, any number of systems come in. And then they, they are, are prepped here. They then are taken over to the disassembly side where they are broken down to their raw components. And so uh, nothing ends up in the trash can. Everything is recycled. The plastic on the outside, the boards that are on the inside. Why don't we just smash it? Why don't we just pulverize it? 
because on every board there is a, comp uh, a lead component and once you start breaking these boards you start releasing that air or that lead into the uh, atmosphere very hazardous for the workers very hazardous to all of us our uh, uh, refineries treat us just like a mining operation they'll melt this down at certain temperature the gold comes off at certain certain temperature the silver comes off uh, the various other metals that uh, are extracted off of this. We actually sell these to a third-party processor who then does the refining for us. And we get a, a, a revenue per pound based on what the boards are. These hard drive boards are the most valuable boards we deal with. Uh, we grade them based on the number of chips on the board. You can see here, lots of chips, lots of value. If we have a board that has very few chips, very little value in that to us. And what we're seeing is less and less value for us as recyclers uh, with the newer equipment. The manufacturers are doing a much better job using uh, materials uh, more efficiently. Don, tell me what's going on here with this forest of CRTs <laughs> here. And yeah, we're growing a crop of them here. These are the CRT glass that comes out of a monitor. This is highly toxic. It contains four to eight pounds of lead in every one of these tubes. Wow. Uh, so just tossing them into the landfill is not the correct answer on these. Uh, we actually uh, or box the back it. of your pickup truck, in right? The backyard, <laughs> right? Uh, we've heard some horror stories about what people do with oh these. Oh my God! We send it down to a uh, certified processing plant in Brazil called LG Phillips, and they process it correctly down there. We get certificates from our end, end processor on this, so we know it's been handled correctly where the lead is extracted, all the precious metals that are in there, and the glass is then reused to build either more CRT glass tubes or, or other glass products. When we break the neck, which happens occasionally, we immediately put it in a plastic bag, quarantine it, and treat it much differently because we don't want to expose our workers or ourselves to the, to the lead that escapes out of these, these tubes. We extract these off the back, of the, uh, the monitor and then you can see there's qu quite a bit of copper and the whole interior to this is copper. We extract all that copper, recycle it, recycle the plastic, uh, all the little wires that might be in there somewhere and uh, that is, these are, are extremely valuable to us because the copper market is so strong. Mm -hmm. it, this helps fund this whole operation. Right, the copper. The copper That's aspect the to it, yep. That's the money. And what's he doing here with this board? He is extracting the uh, copper wiring off a, a monitor control board. And we'll take the, the wire off of this, recycle that separately. Then this becomes a low-grade board that goes to the refiner as is. And is again, processed down. Any, melted, any precious, down. Yeah, melted down, any precious metals are extracted and, and, and used. I'm seeing here a big bin of processors. Right. In a system, we will, we will pull the processors and we recycle these separately again because the value, the value in this is substantially higher than a regular board in a computer. So, uh, and the older the, older the uh, processor chip, the more value in it. There are more precious metals. Uh, Looks like gold to me. And it is. A lot of gold, a lot of platinum in that. You said something to me a little bit ago about plastics and dirty plastic compared to clean plastic. Now we're talking, we're not talking dusty plastic and you know. No, clean plastic or how, what we refer to as clean plastic is plastic that's not contaminated with metals or uh, any corrosive like uh, printer cartridges that have, are filled with toner. That would be what we call dirty plastic. This would be a piece of clean plastic. There's no metals in it. Uh, it can be ground up and recycled without any processing other than just grinding it up. Here with the help of Don Crow and Retronics, we are making a better and more sustainable tomorrow through the actions that we're taking today. Let's not pollute our environment with e-waste. Let's not just turn a blind eye and ship it off into a third world country where we just don't care what, what's going on because we don't see it.